anything like that. Yeah, you got to be strong to do that. Oh, definitely, yeah. Oh, oh. Okay. okay, I'm going to try and be strong and athletic tomorrow morning, Riley. That's so right. give me the forecast for the, the... You're doing a half marathon. Yeah. Doing the Oregon Wine Country half in the morning. Okay. you got to get some sleep tonight and eat your carbs, Eat right? my carbs. I'm going What's for an Italian dinner. Be? Tomorrow morning, I think it's going to be oh, right around 60-ish, uh, somewhere in there. Uh, not too bad. I mean, I think really about... Uh, we're going to see more clouds and sun when you've started off. Right about 61 degrees. 10 o'clock will be about 65 there for you. And then noon, 72 degrees. And I think we might start to see some sun breaks in that time period. Jennifer, I know Sally's running it. Jenny Hansen, Woodard's doing it. Uh, is that it? Yep, I think? that's it. Yep, yep. Throw 13 and a half miles, right? Is that what it is? Yeah. yeah so if I'm not here on Monday, no lie. <laughs> you'll do good. Hey, you'll get some wine after uh, the race tomorrow. So that's the good news there. Live look outside right now in Portland. We're sunny. It's going to be a beautiful evening for us. Right now, 86 degrees. Relative humidity still pretty dry out there, 24%. And the winds have decreased a little bit, about seven miles per hour. We had some gusts close to 20 earlier today. We did make it to 87. That was the high today. Check out uh, Salem, 88 degrees. We're a little bit warmer, though, through the Dallas, 93, 86 in Pendleton. A nice day out towards Astoria, 75. Start to see some, some clouds increasing out in that area. And the metro temperatures this afternoon, uh, generally the mid to upper 80s right now, 84 in Tualatin, 85 in Milwaukee and Camas at 83 degrees. By the way, if you're headed to the Timbers game tonight, it should be a nice evening for that. Clear skies, 82 at 7. And by 9 o'clock, clear skies still right around 75 degrees. So if you're staying out late tonight, might want to take a long sleeve shirt. We're going to see the temperatures drop uh, quite a bit. At least through the midnight hour. And then you're going to start to notice some clouds increasing by tomorrow morning. So I'm going to a low about 61 degrees. And when you wake up tomorrow morning, it will be mostly cloudy. Overnight lows tonight for the valley, upper 50s to lower 60s, upper 50s along the coast. Hood River will make it down to about 63 degrees in the Dalles, right around 67. So uh, statewide right now, not talking about much at all. We have some high clouds down to the south with an upper level system that's basically moving into Idaho that's going to bring some precipitation there. But if you look off to the west, you notice some clouds here. That's our next system that's going to start to make its way in uh, by tomorrow evening. So what's going to happen is the cold front is going to move in. It's going to weaken. So that's what's going to make our clouds increase overnight tonight. And then this area low pressure is going to start to swing down. And that's going to bring cooler weather through the weekend into earlier next week. And the chance for a few showers off and on uh, through at least Monday, Tuesday, and even on Wednesday. So tomorrow, I think it's going to be a dry day. We'll see a few sun breaks later in the afternoon that's going to help us get to about 80 degrees on the west side. The same with the east side. We will see the chance of showers, though, arriving in the overnight hours, right about 80 degrees for you in Vancouver. Now, if you're out along the coast, it'll be a dry start, maybe a few patchy areas of drizzle, mostly cloudy. And then towards the afternoon hours is when we'll start to see some of those showers moving in. Winds are going to pick up too from the southwest, gust about 25 to 30 miles per hour. Now, Kelso, you're going to be between about 77 and uh, 80 degrees if you get more sun breaks in the afternoon hours. Lower 80s for Salem, sun breaks uh, throughout the afternoon hours, and then showers arrive overnight. I think really the showers are going to hold off on the east side tomorrow. It'll stay mostly sunny, a little hazy with some smoke in the, in the sky as well. But through the gorge, it'll be a nice day. And then once we get into the evening hours and overnight, we will see the chance for some showers also for uh, government camp in the Cascades. So the forecast this weekend for the coast, again, we'll see shower chances both days. Temperatures near 70 degrees. The valley, better chances of rain overnight Saturday and on Sunday. Temperatures about 76 on Sunday. Now the gorge be dry tomorrow. Shower chances will arrive there for you on Sunday. Cascades could see maybe a few thunderstorms developing on Sunday, and that's going to be the same for the central and eastern areas of the state, too. So we're going to have to watch that because, of course, we don't want to see lightning with a fire danger out there. So we're going to stay unsettled, but cooler well below average through the week. And then I think by the time we get into Thursday night to Friday, we start to dry out with temperatures near 80. Okay, the best part about Jennifer running that half marathon tomorrow, she gets to load up on Italian food yeah. tonight, yeah. right? Heck yeah. Love I'm going Italian. out to eat tonight. Where are you going? I I don't know yet. I don't know yet. It's a big deal, though, because I get to get off work at 630 yeah. and go stuff my face. <laughs> I don't know. The best part might be the wine at the yeah, end of this you're race. Right. Definitely. But Absolutely. follow along with me on Twitter and Facebook. I'm going to try and, you know, do yeah. some stuff yeah. as I run. Okay. It should be some, interesting. Send me some pictures tomorrow night because, of course, I'm working, so I'd love to put them on air. Yeah, yeah. all of us, the yeah. four of us. Yeah, so definitely. It, it's going to be a good time. All so. right. Good luck with that tomorrow. Thanks. And good luck eating that spaghetti tonight. <laughs>